All eyes were on Kylian Mbappe in Monaco, but it was the host who nearly drew first blood. The corner played short to Nakliush, finding Minamino on the edge of the box. The Japanese international looking to curl it into the top corner, but Donnarumma was able to tip the effort over. Adi Huta's men were still on the front foot as Golovin played Akliush through. One on one with Donnarumma, but the goalkeeper swiped away the chipped effort. Golovin with the follow up and it was blocked by Vitinha. Relentless pressure from the hosts in the first half. Luis Enrique with a big call at half time as the manager brought off Mbappe. The second half saw more chances come PSG's way as Vitinha found Barca in the box. The Frenchman tried to beat the goalkeeper from an angle, but Majewski was able to parry it away. Mbappe watching on from the stands as Barkala played Vitinha through, but it was another great stop from Majewski. The Polish goalkeeper matching his opposite numbers performance in the second half. PSG unable to break through with or without their top scorer. It's the informed Brest who struck first against Le Havre. Pierre Lesmelu driving forward and finding Del Castillo. Pereira Lage finding his way through in the box before pulling it back for Lesmelu to hammer it home. The French midfielder scoring his fourth goal of what's been an outstanding campaign so far. The Bretons were on the front foot again after the break as Kenny Lala played it down the line for Magnetti. The midfielder running into acres of space before finding Camara in the middle. But Acho Dismas was able to get across in time. The goalkeeper keeping his team in the game on his return to the starting lineup. Lava were able to carve out chances as well as Opéry's cross went all the way to Casimir on the other wing. Pulled back to Alajam on the edge of the box but Biza was able to keep out the first time effort. Rans were dominating possession early on, but Lille also had opportunities as Haraldson found Jegrova for a snapshot effort. Parried by Duvinta David's feet, but the Schmidt was able to clear. Panic stations in the Rans defence. Paolo Fonseca's men were looking to ramp up the pressure as Yunis Abdelhamid's back pass was short and latched onto by Jonathan David to open the score. Veteran captain with a howler to gift Lee the lead. The Canadian forward all too happy to oblige and score his seventh goal of 2024. More than anyone else in the league. Junior Ito was involved again as the host of one last chance in stoppage time. Chevalier powering it back into his path. Ito with a chance to cross it in but again the Frenchman came out on top. Nice were able to win the ball back high up the pitch. Ivan Gesson driving down the right before playing it into the middle. Guillaume Res got a hand to but Terre Mofi was there to fire it home. The Nigerian international with his first goal since the turn of the year. And Les Aiglons would rue their missed chances in the second half as Kamansi got the better of Pirot down the right before finding Dalinja to slide in for the equaliser. The Dutchman with his ninth of the campaign to put Toulouse back on level terms. And the striker would turn provided minutes later. Crossing it in for Yang Boho, who fended off Rosario with his back to go before rifling it into the roof of the net. The January signing with his first goal of the season to complete the turnaround. And Nice had one last chance to equalise as Turan found Laborde on the edge of the box. Claude Maurice trying his luck, but it was a great stop from Guillaume Rest. A save worth winning any game. Lance were growing into the game as half-time approached. As Frankowski was found down the left. The pole finding Wahi in the middle unmarked, but Lopez was able to get across for a point-blank save.
but the visitors found the breakthrough soon later. The corner cleared out wide. Pereira da Costa coming in from the left and finding Satoko for a close range header to break the deadlock. And Lyon were under pressure again after the break as Wahi pulled it back for Mendy to try his luck from range. And the effort struck at his hand. The referee eventually pointing to the spot after a VAR check. Wahi stepping up. And it was just out of Lopez's reach. The striker continuing his impressive record against Lyon, scoring his eighth career goal against the nice opponents. Thomasson swinging in the corner, and it's Danso who headed it in from close range to seal the win against 10 man Lyon. The Austrian defender finding the net for the first time this season. It was Marseille who were dominating early on as Gay found Jonathan Klaus out wide. The Frenchman's cross was parried by Mori Diaw, but Ili Manandiai was on hand to finish into an empty net. The Senegal winger with his third goal of the campaign. But it was Clermont who hit back against the run of play, as Marseille struggled to deal with the corner. Ogier heading it back into the middle, and Bilal Boutoba was there to beat Paolo Lopez from close range. The Marseille youth graduate getting his first ever Liga Ubreeds goal against his former club. But there was an instant response from the visitors. Unahi sending it back into the middle and finding Aubameyang, who beat Yao at the second time of asking. Marseille back in front as the forward scored his ninth goal of the campaign. Jean-Louis Gasse's men were pushing for more as Sarr found the on-rushing class. And it was an emphatic strike from the Frenchman to double the lead. The fullback deservedly getting his goal after a dominant display. Clermont were looking to pull one back from the corner, but Marseille were able to launch a lightning quick counter. Montbagna leading the way through the middle. Before finding Luis Enrique to sweep it past Yao. The Brazilian with his first goal in Liga Uber Eats. And it went from bad to worse for the Auvergne side. A poor clearance finding Saar, who played it to Mbanya, and the substitute rifled it into the bottom corner to get in on the act. And it was Lyon who made the breakthrough on the hour mark. Bamba played through and unleashing a shot that was parried by Mandanda. Ponceau looking to curl one to the far post. It's spilled by Mandanda and it's Bamba who is on hand to fire it home. The January signing now Lorient's outright top scorer this season with six strikes. And Lorient found their way through again. As Kalulu played it into the middle for Krupi to hammer home the second. The two substitutes combined to double the lead as the 17-year-old Kupi scored his fifth of the season. Rennes were looking to pull one back in stoppage time as Bourijo played it to Guiri on the edge of the box. He's back to goal, turning around the defender and finding the far corner for his fifth of the campaign. Straight after the break, it was Strasbourg who were on the front foot. Omega found in the box and looking to unleash a shot, but the forward was taken down by Kuyate. Stephanie Frappard pointing straight to the spot. Habib Diara stepping off for the penalty and sending Lecomte the wrong way. But the hosts were able to draw level. Arnaud Nordin converting from the corner with a looping header into the far corner. 
El Arouche was left with no chance. But Strasbourg were able to find another breakthrough. And so threaded it through to Mega, who chipped Lecomte to put his team back ahead. Montpellier were throwing everything at Strasbourg in the final minutes to grab another equaliser. As Ferris Ross was cleared out to Nordin, who volleyed it on the edge of the box and then off the post. The forward getting his double as the goal was confirmed by goal line technology. And Metz had yet another corner. It's played to Conde, who was brought down by Mohamed in the box as he turned. And the referee pointed straight to the spot. Georges Mikotat is stepping up. And sent that from the wrong way. The striker with his third goal since returning to the club in January. And Metz were able to come away on the counter. Jean-Jacques driving through the middle before finding Mikotat out wide. The Georgian crossing it in for Udon and the captain headed it past Lafont. Captain's third goal of the season, sealing a first win for his team since November. And there are only two home wins across the match day and 23 goals scored across the nine games. Marseille with the biggest win of the weekend as a new manager bounce under Jean-Louis Gasset continued. Just four points separating third and sixth now, while Marseille also returned to the race for the European spots. PSG still comfortably ahead of their Breton chasers with 10 games to go. It's Lorient who were the big movers in the bottom half after jumping to 13th place for winning the Breton derby. Montpellier dropping into the playoff spot just three points ahead of Metz who claimed their first win since November. And match day 25 kicks off in Nice who look to return to winning ways against Montpellier on Friday evening. Before a clash between high-flying Lens and Brest the following day. PSG will be in action for the early Sunday kickoff against Reims. Before Marseille look to continue their revival against a struggling Nantes.